Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in light of life. Uh, now this was developed by Renan Games, published by Rattalika Games and it's usually available for, as per usual, a very small £4.99 but it's currently on sale for £3.99 so you know, save yourself a quid and you know, you can get a mortgage with it according to all the uh, rich famous celebrities. Mm. Anyway, more on that later. So what this is then, this is a kind of um, just a typical sort of precision platformer. Um, we are playing as an elf and uh, she's got to go basically to the other end of the level, get the crystals and stuff. Yeah, tidy stuff. Uh, so um, the achievements are, once again, they're pretty much easy enough as well. Uh, basically, what we've got to do is collect one crystal, uh, which we will get on the first level. Start the journey. We're going to complete levels one all the way up to 20. Uh, the majority are easy enough, one or two may take just a couple of attempts. Um, we need to destroy a target, which is pretty much unmissable. And we've got to die 10 and 100 times. We've got to die once, die 10 times, and die 100 times. So that's it. So we're basically just completing the first world. It's easy enough. This should take no more than about 15 or 20 minutes to do. So with that being said then, well, as usual, let's do it. And we are going to start, of course, and we're going to start a new game, of course. Elenor. L and Or. And we're going to start in Flossenheim and Hausen. So, with number one then. Uh, controls are easy enough. Obviously, left stick to move, the A button to jump. You can go ahead and speak to this Grand Wizard of Life. Uh, and we'll obviously get our first achievement there. So, we need to jump. There's the first crystal as well, so we'll grab that. And the bigger crystal that we get at the end, or... Sorry, we'll call the collectibles orbs, is it? Yeah, that'll do. That's easier. So that's all we got to do then to complete the level. So grab this next orb if you want and just jump over to the left and interact with the crystal to finish this one. Again, there's only one orb that you need to grab, so don't worry about going out of your way to grab the next lot. Just the ones that are just in your path. Jump over the spikes, of course. Uh, don't do exactly what I did there and dive straight in. Yes, everyone loves a spike to the nugget, eh? Anyway, uh, if you did just die, you'll get your first death achievement as well. Otherwise, grab the crystal at the end. Level 4. Uh, again, it's just a take, case of just take your time, jump over to the left, try not to uh, spike your buns. There's only one good time that you can spike some buns, and that is in the barbecue in the summer. Right, so now we've got a dash ability, so what you need to do is look the, uh, so, oh no, sorry, not yet, we're going to press the X button. Uh, to We've got the shooting ability, and apparently I died again, so uh, yeah, my jumping sucks. But yes, yeah, so just press the X button to shoot a couple of shots, job done. If you want to shoot up, just press up on the left stick and you will, well, shoot up. Yeah, mad. Uh, now you don't have to um, destroy every dummy target there, just as long as you've got a clear path. Then you can move on, crackle on, job all done -in. So onto the next one then, level six. So again, jump up, shoot up at the target dummy. Shoot at the target on the left so he's out your way, and then just make the biggest jump for it. Assassin's Creed style, I know! And, uh, you know, apparently I'm uh, just an epic assassin, so I kill everybody. Now, fair play, if I was a, an assassin, I'd be dead within minutes, to be honest. I'd be finished within two minutes. Um, lucky women. Uh, not joking. So, head over to the right-hand side. The next level is where we're going to get the dash ability, by the way. So, jump up, of course. Kill the dummy who of course is not um, doing you any harm whatsoever. And there's the level finished. Right, so with the dash ability then, what you have to do in order to dash across is look the other way. So don't, basically don't look forward. So if you look to the left now, after we kill the dummy, so look to the left, press A and then X, and that is how you will dash. So it may take just a few little tries to get used to, but it's not too bad. So when you want to go somewhere to the left, say, then turn to the right, A and X, and then that is it. So you don't actually have to put in any directional movement with the left stick, which is always nice. Right, uh, another one. So again, turn to the right, A and X, and that'll dash you over. Jump up. Turn to the left as we get here, A and X. Boom! And that's level 9 done. See? Look at that. Already flying through it, man. Right, so now it starts getting circular saw motionly. Uh, saw 27. Even though um, Toby what, Tobias, what's his name, is still in there. Uh, so just dash your way over. Hopefully you've got a, a, an easy grip of what to do and how to do the dash by now. So I won't explain anymore. So, obviously dash over twice. You don't want to be circular, sort of death. You can just drop down. 
If you go too far, there is a ledge there uh, on the left-hand side, so that's fine. Otherwise, dash across, and that's job done again. Right, uh, now these are walls that we just have to dash through. Um, it literally makes no difference, because it doesn't take one or two hits. It's literally just straight through, like these bricks were made of paper or something. So, dash across, dash across the soles here, and ta-da! That's collected fragment. Right, do the same here, but be careful. We need to sort of stay over to the left a little bit before dashing, then do it again. Drop down, and it'll be the same with the red ones here. So smash this one up, but don't go too close to the edge. Stay just to the right of the flower, and then that'll put you on the platform, and you can just jump over and finish. On to level 14. Um, so now what we can do is press the Y button to jump up, uh, dash up. So press Y and then X, and that will dash you over lovingly. Um, obviously if you just want to jump a little bit, A and X, otherwise for the majority we're going to be pressing Y and X. That's nice! So do the same here then, just jump up, dash, and get yourself across. That's level 14 done, so now we're already on to level 15. Same here then, dash your ass through the wall. Right, dash up here, but be careful, so stay to the right as much as you can there, so you don't keep dropping into the, down into the soles. Uh, head up onto the left, and then dash up, and dash up again. Jump into the wall, be careful here again, um, just get right as close as you can to the wall, jump across, dash across, job done, level 15, completerini. So on to level 16 now, here we are at the bottom left corner, so dash your way through, making sure of course that you're not getting in the soul's way, wait until it goes down and dash across, dash up, burn up, dash, dash, dash. Uh, right, so dash your way across here, now just wait until the soul is either up or down, right at the up or right at the down, dash across, and that's 16 done, flying monkeys. Right, uh, top right corner, so dash over through the wall, be careful the spike will come, now keep looking to the left and then press the X as you get down, so you can just dash yourself across, again that did take me a few attempts, otherwise you can dash across there and finish the level, yeah that did take me a few attempts because I kept trying to look the other way and then dashing into the wall and dying, hilarious. Uh, right, these platforms are shaky and fally, so don't stay on these too long. Um, dash up, dash up and go to the left so you don't get hit by the saw, wait until the saw goes up. And then you can just jump across here. If you want to dash, if you feel like dashing across, you can do that one as well. Now, a lot of people seem to have trouble with this level. It's not too bad, though. So quickly on the platform, dash across. Quickly jump on the platform, quickly dash across. Press Y, wait until the saw goes down. Then dash up, dash up, and jump across. And then wait until that next saw here goes down again. And then we can just dash across. Job's the good man. Right then, for the finale of the level, we're going to drop down, try and stay in the middle as close as you can. Uh, you can just jump up to the red wall and dash straight into it, that's fine. Dash across, but stay on the right-hand side of the platform. Go to the left, dash up, drop down, press the X button, and kaboom, you blammo, in your nano. That is all done. So, depending on how many times you've died, if at all, those should now be the only remaining achievements that you got left. So what we're going to do is select Flossheim once again, go to level 19, and literally just keep going to the left. Death upon death upon death upon sweet death. Even death himself is getting fed up of all these deaths. He's like, bruh, I don't even care. Just, I, I'm going for a holiday, man. Or a vacation. Or, you know, if you're a rich celebrity, then you can go on one of those mega staycations where you go, I'm, I'm just like the common people when they're actually not at all. Oh, celebrities, don't you love them? Right, so, that should be that then. 11 out of 11 all done here for Light of Life. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. A uh, big shout-out to all my uh, continued Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. Absolute legends, so thank you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Big old love!